Hey Summers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make Two and Another Neighbor Visit. We got an invitation from Katie to visit her house, and this is it on the premium lot next to the bridge to the mysterious island. As you can see, there's a lot of interesting balcony stuff going on. Yeah, there's balconies, pools, split buildings, balcony bridges, kind of, yeah, lots of interesting stuff. More interesting for the balconies, obviously, as we go up the building. Yes. So this is the entryway to the entire house and as you can see here we've got some cool stuff going on in terms of decorations. I love that there are red couches throughout the house as you will see but it begins here in the living room where we've got a very kind of cozy setup with a big L-shaped couch and big TV. On this side over here is a smaller, more intimate room with a smaller TV with a couch. And over here you've got a guest bathroom. Back through here is a hallway and another smaller intimate room with the makeout couch this time centered around a fireplace. And then through here is a very large kitchen where we've got Hermione contemplating the stainless steel countertops. And I love that off the back of the kitchen here, you've got these doorways side by side by side to create a very open space for the dining table, but it's still very social in that, you know, they've got this access to the kitchen here. Yeah, it's social, connected, but not one room, which I think works really well. Yeah. And then here is a library. Very swanky to have a library <laughs> inside a house like That's this. That's a lot of books they have. Yeah. Yeah. So back here is the pool area, and I really love the look of this. It looks like Katie's glitched some palm trees to kind of sit in the middle of the water here. Very cool. So then you can take a staircase up to the second floor. So this is more of a bedroom floor, two large suites at the top, and at this end, we'll just cover it first, there's stairs up to the third floor. There's also here an exercise room, I really like this. There's some weights and an exercise machine. And we get asked this a lot, but the exercise machine is a prize for completing the senior's quest in the time limit, and the weights, I think, just get unlocked if you hit a certain level. Yeah. Um, and there's also a stereo and a fridge, so everything you need to stay hydrated and motivated. And you can see Katie's done more of this open doorways look to this floor, so you've got a lot of very open space and that's helped along by the fact that she's used the same flooring everywhere. The same flooring and the same couple of open archways. Yes. So over here is bedroom suite number one. I, I think, really yeah, love this. I think it's my favorite room in the house just because the really original design <laughs> of having those U-shaped couches flanking that heart bed. Yeah. And then through here is walk-in closet. And through here, the bathroom for that bedroom suite. Then over here is the second bedroom suite. Really love the use of the privacy screen there to block off the open walk-in closet here. And then the bathroom for that bedroom is over here with a heart-shaped tub. Cool. And further along that corridor, we have just a couple of more social hanging out rooms. One just with a bookcase and a sofa and the other one with a sofa and a really big TV. Mm -hmm. And again, the red motif is carried on here, the sofas. So one really cool thing is that the hallway ends in this space which opens onto a balcony that kind of goes all around the house on this floor in a really cool way. So then taking this staircase up to the third floor, yeah, this is where the balconies and the house design gets even more interesting. Yes, so can see, we can show you guys. Yeah. As you can see, this balcony splits the front part of the house from the back part of the house, so that you basically now have we two have three, separate... Three sections. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, sorry. So there's another balcony here splitting off. Yeah, and yeah. that's just a balcony built over the floor below, mm -hmm. and then you effectively have three separate what sort of mini buildings on the third floor, three completely separated rooms on the third floor. But you can access all of them from this, again there's a central corridor running all the way through, mm -hmm. again linked by these archways, common archways throughout. So it still gets a sense of 
flow, but they are actually separated. Yeah, it's a really cool idea for a house. This first section then has just a little sitting down table, a space right near the end by the windows for just sitting and hanging out, and then another living room. And from there, that's the stairs you get to the fourth floor. But before we go to the fourth, fourth floor, let's check out the two other sections. The middle section here on the left-hand side has a really nice relaxing space with just no TV, no stereo. The only noise is the sound of that lovely bamboo fountain. I like that there are all these relaxing spaces in Katie's yeah. house. Then across here is a bedroom. Yep, very nicely done. Got everything you'd need. Again, keeping with the red and black motif. And then back here is, you can enter this room from the balcony section. And that's really nice, these huge couches surrounding the furnace. Yeah, this room is only meant for... Socializing. Socializing. All you can do in there is talk and stir the fire. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And then on this side over here is an office. Mm -hmm. And I really like what Katie's done with the countertops going on either side of the desk here. Yeah, yeah it makes the desk completely wrap around one and a bit walls. And then mm -hmm. there's also some thinking space before you get the outside balcony, which has a couple of cool deck chairs on just for relaxing. Thinking space? Where's the thinking space? We're in the office with the sofa and the, to the nice coffee table. Okay, I didn't know that's what we were calling it. I don't know. <laughs> that's what they used to do in Mad, Mad Men. They go and lie down on their sofas and think. I don't think they were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nursing drunk heads. So then up to the fourth floor, that staircase takes you over here onto this sort of throughway with a bookcase and or bookcases and furnace and then that opens onto another balcony which this time goes the length of the house. Yeah so this time our th we still have our three sections front middle and back that have now been divided left and right as well yeah. by this external corridor kind of. Very cool. Yeah but right at the end there's a room out of the corridor which has just a little sofa in. Mm -hmm. And on this side is a room with an armchair. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then the stairs going up to the fifth floor. Yes. So then let's go the, to the middle section yeah, yeah. across that balcony bridge over here and here you've got a very large bathroom on this side accessible from a balcony section on that going kind of this direction is a kitchen very cute mm -hmm. and yeah i like the flowers in the kitchen yeah then over here is a, another sitting room with red sofa and TV. And then finally on this floor, the inside rooms at least, a red bedroom with red sofa and red bed. That is very cozy. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I think all the bedrooms look really cool. So then... And there's a bit of a bigger balcony here because the rooms have got a little bit smaller as we've gone up. And so more space for tables and chairs. Yeah, it's a really nifty way to do this. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been really hard to build because if you can get a sense, there's some bits which have gaps below mm -hmm. and then balconies above or balconies below and gaps above and it's still managed to fit all the rooms in. It's really clever. Yeah. So then going up that staircase to the fifth floor, we've got more <laughs> division between rooms up here. So the staircase What's takes it? Oh, you <laughs> immediately out into this pink room. <laughs> yeah, pink with, party room. Yeah, stereos on either side and I think that's the wrap machine? I can't remember. Yes. And then... We have to come out of yes. that room to walk around the outside. At the back here you've got, a, well we'll come to the outside bits of the balcony later. You just have, well this room's kind of in and out, nice decorated in blue and again just for socializing with some couches and those archways giving us through space to get to either end of the balcony. But again, we've got a red and black theme, but this time with different couches. These are the Egyptians. So yeah, these are here. black with red as opposed to red with black. Yeah. Back through here is a bar area. Yeah, a, another kind of party room space, I think, but yeah, mainly for a bar. Then on this side, <laughs> there is a room here, but it's only for these plants. Yeah, it's just for decoration. Yeah. Yeah. And then one more room on this floor, an office. Yeah. 
an even bigger wraparound desk yeah. using those stainless steel countertops, but with an aquarium at foot as well, because <laughs> aquariums help me think. So then that balcony generally just opens up into a really nice platform almost where you've got room for table and chairs, lounge chairs, and then these what would you call them? Deck chairs. Deck chairs, yeah. And then the grill. And the we grill here. Quick look at before. So yeah, this has the biggest balcony and it's also got the smallest amount of actual room space, so that's how you can have such a big balcony. And at the time of this recording, which is just after the Baby Steps update dropped, we now have the ability to see the roof view of houses. So yeah, that's really cool for neighbors. Now we can see what it looks like from this height and it see looks, yeah. more of a full effect of a house. Yeah. It does look yeah very symmetrical. So any left-right symmetry is really strong. And wow, there's just so much going on. Yeah. Cool. So thank you so much to Katie for the invitation to visit this house, and we hope you guys enjoy the tour as well. Please feel free to let us and Katie know in the comments what you thought. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty of Sims Freeplay content. Thanks for watching.